In this video, I thought I'd share some insight into faster ways to cull photos using a combination of a couple of tools. One is Fast Raw Viewer and combining that with a Behringer X-Touch Mini MIDI controller. To make this work, you also have to use the software called Bohm's MIDI Translator Classic. This is what enables the communication between the Behringer X-Touch Mini and the translation that happens from MIDI note to keystrokes here, you can see in this uh, list that Fast Raw Viewer can understand and translate. Effectively, you are setting up individual MIDI messages from the controller that then go to a keystroke on the keyboard by using this. And I've already set up a number of presets mapped to what makes logical sense to me on the controller. And you can adjust through customization within program the keyboard shortcuts for a number of operations, which then you can pick the ones that you want, you can customize and map to your heart's content. I opened a folder on my computer. These are not raw images. These are kind of finalized uh, JPEGs, but the idea will remain the same in terms of the way that you're able to navigate using this controller. I've set it up so that each of the buttons are mapped to a different function as well as some control knob functionality. Uh, examples being, so uh, first control knob I have set up to move uh, left and right one picture. Uh, control two is to move two pictures. Three is to move three pictures. Uh, and then uh, the other a knob that I've set up is ability to uh, zoom in. Control the knob and zoom in, zoom out, do that. Uh, and then I have a button set up to fill the window effectively. So this button uh, I've set up to toggle between this grid view of everything and also to move to a, a single image that is selected. So combination of doing this, I can just go back and forth. I have a button that's set here to select, and you can see as I move, uh, I can select particular images. I can press that same button to select and unselect. And then from there, you have options to uh, select and move uh, files to a selected subfolder. Uh, by set it up so that this button uh, would move it to uh, the selected folder. Um, I could do the same thing with I select up a rejected folder as well and it mapped to a different button so that I could move uh, the images that I select via the tool to a rejected or selected folder. And so I'll just go back through here and unselect these. I'm gonna go through some of my images, you know, finance, Select one here, perhaps. I'll take this image, I'm gonna click this button to uh, view it full screen here. I can now zoom in, zoom out. Um, I set up th this button here to apply different, um, they call it screen sharpening. This isn't a great example because it has sharpening applied to it already as is the JPEG export. Well, but when you're dealing with raw files in this program, it doesn't apply any sharpening whatsoever. And, and therefore, most of your images when you import them will actually look like they're a little bit blurry, they're not tack sharp. And therefore they have this function in here uh, that allows you to apply different levels of screen sharpening. And so there's nothing applied. There's the first level and then there's the second level. Um, when I'm doing this, usually that first level is, uh, provides me better indication of whether or not something is going to be sharp or not. This button I've set up that's um, kind of focus peaking. It'll show you areas of contrast and uh, what's in focus. It works okay. It's, not perfect, but I can scroll through those options by clicking a button. This I've set up to go one to one ratio. And then this button here goes back to fill the screen. So if I want to do a quick check, I can just do that. I have this button set up 
to effectively go to full screen mode and toggle between full screen mode where it removes some of the borders and distractions. And I can just focus on the image. You know, from here, I can zoom in, I can zoom out, I can go one to one, I can screen, and I can toggle it again and bring back the histogram and the metadata tags and the file explorer as well. So this button to add gr grids for rule of thirds editing, and it'll toggle between the off and then two other options. I set up these three buttons to do star ratings for metadata, and I have it set up for one star, two star, or three star ratings, and you can see that change under the metadata on the right hand side. So if I decide that's not a three star rating, but it's a one star, I can click that and two star, three star, one. Then I can clear it by clicking the X in the right hand corner. You could set it up to have five ratings or five stars, but I, I never have that many. So therefore I've just set it up with three. So I'll switch back here to the grid mode and I can go through and I can say select each of these of this individual. And then I can move that to a particular folder. I could uh, reject them, move them to a subfolder. Uh, I can tag and rate them all the same thing if I think that they're all of the same uh, caliber of photo. And I can clear those ratings and I can uh, deselect each one individually. And by scrolling three at a time, I can easily just sort of go through the entire catalog, visualizing, you know, what's in this particular folder. I go two at a time, it can go slower. And one at a time, if I wanna just kind of fine tune going through and selecting particular items and unselecting particular items. But you can see that uh, using a setup like this may potentially be more intuitive for you, may provide a faster workflow, and it simplifies a number of multi-button combinations on a keyboard. So I can assign one particular button that could be, you know, control, shift, uh, left arrow, and assign that to a single button press on, on this, and therefore, you can do more complicated tasks just with a single button press and it's laid out just in a fairly straightforward manner here. The software also can be set up to have control shortcuts to output to a raw processor uh, or a, a digital asset management system such as uh, Capture One or Lightroom or On One Photo Raw or Luminar and this effectively just takes the place of working through grabbing photos on the front end and figuring out which ones that you actually want to work on and just going ahead and getting rid of those that you don't. Speed of which that the program can uh, open up and view raw files, it is quite a bit faster than, than those other programs, but the other programs then provide you exhaustive controls over editing functions, which is not the intent of of the fast raw viewer program. I believe this provides you with insight into potentially a more efficient and straightforward method of getting to the editing process faster and more efficiently and gives you more time for editing and then going out and shooting more photos. This was a value to you. Thanks.